All right. So I wanted to go over a couple examples of tangent before our test. So uh, we remember that tangent is always going to be opposite over adjacent. So opposite over adjacent. So we need to recognize from our, um, from our triangle which side is opposite and which side is adjacent. So in this case, opposite of our angle is going to be across from it. So if our given angle is going to be 49 degrees, okay, 49 degrees, that's what's given to us here. Opposite of that is going to be the four, okay, the four is on top. While the adjacent side is the side that is right next to our angle, x. Okay, I do want to point out something before you go, of course, is that this is just the hypotenuse. That doesn't matter. Okay, the hypotenuse is not given to us, so it's, it's out of the picture. Okay, uh, what about this example? So, of course, this last one that we had here was orientated and horizontally. While this triangle is oriented or orientated, whichever word it is, uh, vertically. So, let's see if you can do this one. Tangent of your angle, so let's see, tangent of 32 is equal to opposite over adjacent. So opposite in this case, look at your angle across from it is the W, so that's got to go on top. And adjacent is right next to our angle, which is the 7. All right, again, just like last time, the hypotenuse is the longest side. We don't got to worry about that because it's not given to us. Okay, so um, we have our opposites and our adjacent sides. So there's only one more step, right? This is going to be the equation that's going to help us solve it, but we got to actually solve for W, the missing side. So what we need to do is uh, get W to be alone. So in this case, uh, W is being divided by 7, so I got to multiply both sides by 7. That will give me my answer. W is equal to 7. Well, what do we have here? 7 times the tangent of 32 degrees. Usually put that in parentheses. OK. That's going to be our answer. This is an answer that's going to be acceptable on tests and quizzes. The reason why is when you have your calculator, right? You have your calculator, it's got all these buttons, all these different modes. Well, on your calculator, uh, it's going to give you two options. Your answer can be in degrees, or your answer can be in radians. All right? Of course, we're dealing with uh, degrees or radians. You can guess which one it is, right? Uh, we're dealing with degrees because it's an angle. Uh, so if your calculator is in the wrong mode, it will give you the wrong answer. So again, this answer is going to be acceptable for every test and quiz. But your answer, if you wanted to put this in your calculator, it's around, uh, let me just guess, uh, it's around 4. So that would be a reasonable answer. It might be 3. I'm not sure. But it's going to be, if you put it in your calculator, it's going to be around 3 or 4. All right. So. Let's take a look at this previous example that we have here. All right, notice how we had 4 on top and x on the bottom. So what I want to do is get x to be alone. So I'm actually going to have to multiply both sides by x. All right, we had the equation by setting it up. We just have to solve. So cross off the x. The x is now on the left side. We have x times the tangent of 49 is equal to, I'll just still use the color, it's equal to 4. All right, but I don't want uh, an answer of 4 that just doesn't make sense. I want an answer of what x is. x times the tangent of this is 4. So I need to get rid of this, what's next to x, OK? So what I'll need to do is go ahead and divide both sides by tangent of 49. Okay, this is just a calculator function. 
you need to go ahead and divide both, both sides by tangent of 49. All right, you can't tell me what tangent of 49 is in your brain. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a calculator thing. But if you divide both sides by the tangent of 49, sorry, it's messy. That's going to get you your answer. So your final answer should be x is equal to, and I'll just use black, x is equal to 4 divided by the tangent of 49 degrees. This is what you want your final answer to be. This is, your call, this is called your exact answer. If you wanted to put this in your calculator, then you should be getting an answer of approximately like 3.7, I guess. I'm just guessing, just by looking at the triangle. But uh, the answer that's susceptible on your quiz and test is going to be this. This is called your exact answer. So again, this is called your exact answer. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, I will see you all next time.